Good afternoon everybody. Today's demonstration is on convex and concave lenses. The first lens that we will demonstrate is a 75 millimeter focal length convex lens. If the lens is brought close to the camera, the camera is within the focal length of the lens. If that's true, you can use it as a magnifying glass. So this is how you use a magnifying glass. You put the um, lens of the magnifying glass within the focal length of your lens in your eyeball. And here now you can see the marker appears larger because it is being used as a magnifying glass. Notice in the magnifying glass situation you are having an upright virtual image being formed. If I take this away now you can see I have the regular original marker. You can see now it is no longer magnified. So when I put this in front, we are now getting a magnification of the marker. And it is a virtual upright image. Notice the orientation did not change. However, if this is brought farther away, now you may be able to see that the items in the room have shifted upside down as I move this around. So now if I place the marker farther away, you can see how things appear to be switched. So now we have in now we have a real inverted image of the marker. As I'm moving it to the left, it appears to be moving to the right for the image that's in the lens. So if I am farther away and if the lens is far enough from the camera, we can then form a real inverted image in the convex lens. In this case, you can have a magnification greater than one or less than one, depending on how you place the object in the camera and, and the object in the image. So that is the convex lens. Now for the concave lens, this is a negative 150 millimeter concave lens. Notice already the things that you see in the room from the, there is what the camera is getting and this is what the concave lens is giving you. Notice everything is still upright. No matter how close or how far I bring this away, everything still appears upright. And if you look at putting the marker through here, you can see how if the marker is right here and then I move it into the lens, see how it appears to have decreased in size. The magnification is always smaller than one for the concave lens. You can see the image it is a virtual upright image. So in the concave lens, the images are always virtual and upright. If I move this away, you can see the marker is larger. So you can see how the magnification is smaller than one for the concave lens. Now when you look at these lenses, the concave lens is a diverging lens, the convex lens is a converging lens. So when the light rays go through a concave lens, they diverge. When the light rays go through a convex lens, they will converge. 